take a look at a range of different types of equilibria and how we analyze each of these, particularly in terms of the effect that a change in temperature, concentration or pressure will have on the system and how the system is going to respond as a consequence. So let's start to focus in specifically on what happens when uh, we start changing the temperature. So here is our cobalt chloride equilibrium. And we've said that there are two versions of cobalt chloride, a pink version and a blue version. The pink version is the hydrated form. We have cobalt chloride hexa six hydrate uh, as our product. And for our reactants, we have cobalt chloride, that's the anhydrous version and, uh, and water molecules. One way we can shift the equilibrium um, back in this direction is to add uh, heat energy. When we add heat energy, what the heat energy is going to do is to heat those uh, little uh, water molecules that are distributed through the solid. Uh, they'll actually drive them out and it means that we're going to shift the equilibrium in the reverse direction. That is, we're going to talk about uh, favoring the reactant side or shifting to the left. Okay. Um, these are the terms that we're going to be using and it's very important that you start to um, describe situations uh, in terms of the change and the Le Chatelier's principal consequence, which is that shift back to um, try and counter the change. So here's a second example. This is nitrogen dioxide as a uh, reactant and dinitrogen tetroxide. Tetroxide. Oops, I'll just try that again. Tetroxide as a product. This is a an exothermic reaction as energy is a product. And if energy is a product, then we have an exothermic reaction or a delta H is negative. Now what happens if we add heat? If we add heat energy, we are increasing the energy of the system, which means that this component gets higher. Le Chatelier's principle tells us that the shift is going to counter the change. So what we want to do is we want that to become, oops, we want that to become lower. We make that lower by shifting to the left. If we shift to the left, then we're going to produce more of the dinitrogen tetroxide and our, uh, our gas mixture will become slightly browner or darker in color. If we were to cool the mixture, then we're actually going to be removing energy. So in this stage, we're going to be removing energy from the system. So the system will then, according to Le Chatelier's principle, shift in order to counter the change. That is to produce more energy. And as a result, uh, the solution will favor the, uh, sorry, the mixture the equilibrium system will then favor the formation of the product or shift to the right and will increase the amount of the dinitrogen tetroxide. And of course, that means that the uh, mixture will become paler, less brown uh, as more of the colorless uh, component is formed. This is the way that we go about trying to um, analyze different equilibria in terms of the change that's being um, affected on the system and how the system is going to respond as a result in order to counteract that change.